Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and in today's video I'm going to be doing an Owlet review. This is the box that it comes in. The things that you get in this box is the base station which looks like this. Um, you also get the little sensor monitor with a little owl on it. And then you also get three sock sizes. One is um, size one, zero to one month, six to eight pounds. She's in size two, which is one to four months, eight to 14 pounds. She is almost six months, but she still fits this one because she is tiny. Um, she's a little over 14 pounds, so it might be time to switch up to this one. I'm gonna try it tonight and see which one fits better. But then there's also size three, which is just four to 18 months. There's no like weight requirements for the size three. So about the price. It costed me actually nothing. I got it um, at my baby shower. My mom actually bought mine off Facebook Marketplace. So that's a really great place to get high ticket items that you might be looking for and paying to pay less. So I think my mom said she bought it for $150. I went on and on and on throughout my entire pregnancy how much I wanted a Owlet, um, even though it was really pricey for to me, it would give me that peace of mind. I think retail it normally costs around 250, maybe a little bit closer to 300 with tax. But I got mine for 150, or my mom bought it for 150 dollars. So basically, what the Owlet is, it's a heart rate and oxygen level monitor based on pulse oximetry. So basically, what you do is you put this little sensor into. I think this is size two, yeah. You put this little sensor inside the sock, like this. Let me see if I can show you guys. So the sensor goes in there and it's blinking right now because it's not plugged in and the base isn't turned on. It also tracks sleep. So when I first got my daughter home from the hospital, um, she was sleeping anywhere from, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour and she'd be waking up every single hour. It's a crazy how like the older they get, the more they sleep, thank God. But yeah, she was waking up every hour as a newborn and then into like probably month one, one and a half to maybe two months, her sleep was pretty rough. But now that she's almost six months, she's sleeping anywhere from like three and a half hours to four and a half hour stretches, which is nice and lovely and wonderful for me because that means I can get a little bit more sleep. Also, if your baby's levels for oxygen and heart rate dip to a very concerning level, it will notify you via the app that it has and also the base station. So it'll alert you on your phone, either if the sock is misplaced or kicked off on your baby's foot, or it will alert you on the base station, which it will turn a different color and also sound an alarm. So the reasons why I bought my outlet or put it on my registry is because it gives me peace of mind that if something goes wrong with my baby or the heart rate dips or the oxygen levels dip, that I can quickly get my baby help. I'll tell you a story. So my baby is three months premature. She was born at 37 weeks. And usually typically with premature babies or babies that were born early, their lungs are not as strong as a full-term baby. So actually in the hospital, they had to give me steroid shots, which helped speed up the, the growth of the baby's lungs. But because she was still, you know, born early, you can't really tell whether the steroids work to its full capacity or how well the lungs have developed. With that being said, um, when I brought her home, it said on the readings that her oxygen levels were anywhere from 94 to 96, 98 range, which is okay, but it's not the best. Anywhere that from 92 and below, those are dangerous levels. So now that she's a little bit older, they're always at 100%, maybe 99 to 100%, but I can see how much her heart rate has changed from bringing her home when she first got home and to now that she's almost six months. I also bought it because hearing and about all these stories on YouTube and just people that I know from my personal life where they know somebody who had a baby who suffered from SIDS and passed away. And I had so much anxiety during my entire pregnancy that the thought of my child having SIDS or, you know, dying prematurely as a baby in her crib just really scared me. So that's, this is why I really, really wanted that if I 
could choose any one baby item that would make momming a, I wouldn't say a piece of cake, but momming easier and lessen my anxiety and stress. It's the outlet for sure, hands down. I also like it because I like that I can track her sleep. I like to see how many times she wakes up during the middle of the night and pretty much when she wakes up during the middle of the night, it's either for a diaper change or for a feeding. And she co-sleeps with me. She starts off in her crib and then after her first wake, I bring her into bed with me. And then I feed her and then we kind of she kind of just dream feeds a little bit. It helps me get better sleep at night too because I feel like having the owlet on her is like an extra set of eyes watching over her because if you have children then you know how hard it is to get decent sleep because you're always worried about your baby you're always checking on your baby and obviously as a new mommy or a mommy who has multiple kids even bringing home a newborn baby is stressful sometimes because you're constantly looking at your baby checking on them to see if they're breathing checking on them to see if they're okay and so having this as part of her bedtime routine and her nap time routine really helps me have that peace of mind that she's gonna be okay. And even if she's not, it will let me know that she's not okay. And then I can rush to her side. So a little bit on the base station. So basically when this is plugged in, there's gonna be a few different colors that the lights will change. So white means that your uh, monitor is charging. Green means that it's connected and getting readings. Also something to note too, if your baby is wiggling and moving, it will not get an accurate reading. I have the Owlet Sock 2. I've heard that the Sock 3 actually allows you to see the readings even if they're wiggling around. Yellow light means that the sock placement is a little bit off. Either your baby has kicked the sock off or it's moved a little bit and not getting an accurate reading. Also, when the light turns yellow, it will alert your phone and then also it will um, turn on a lullaby. I think it's Hush Little Baby is what it plays. Also, when you get a red reading, which I hope none of you mommies and daddies out there ever get because getting a red reading is very scary and it means that your baby needs help. Either they have a low heart rate or oxygen level. Either way, like either of those getting a red signal is very concerning and very scary for a parent. I'll give you guys a little story. So. When I brought her home, obviously, like I said before, she's a little bit premature. She was born early and her lungs weren't all the way developed. And also when you were born a little bit earlier, her ability to suck to eat is not as strong. And also eating is just a little bit more difficult for babies that are born early or babies with, with small mouths. So she was wearing her sock a few times while feeding her and I think she was either taking in too much milk, but your esophagus and your windpipe are right on top of each other. They're right next to each other. So if you get too much milk or too much food while you're also trying to breathe, it closes the windpipe a little bit. So that's why babies end up coughing if they're eating and not getting enough air. They're pretty much like they're choking. So one time she was eating and I think either my milk was coming out too fast and she wasn't the best at eating at that time, especially when she's a newborn. Um, the sock actually went red a few times doing that. So scary. I wish no parent ever gets a red reading because it was scary because she couldn't breathe because she was taking in too much milk and choking. So immediately, obviously I would take her off my breast and then try to burp her so that she could, so that she can get some air in her lungs. A lot of people ask me, is it worth it? What do I add to my baby registry? Is the owlet worth it at the price point of over $200? And 100% yes, a thousand million gazillion percent yes, it is absolutely worth it, especially for the peace of mind that it gives you. And to protect your baby, 100% yes. This is, like I said before, this is the number one thing. Like if I didn't get anything else from my registry, this is the one thing that I really, really wanted because I was so afraid of SIDS and, you know, my baby being hurt or not being able to breathe or something happening going on there. 100% yes, it is absolutely worth it. And I think that you guys should get it. You can do away with swings and a fancy crib, but to have something that lets you know if your baby is struggling or can't breathe, this is 100% worth it. 
I also forgot to mention that you can actually wash the socks because if your baby gets sweaty, and I which most babies do, their feet get sweaty too, and these will start to stink a little bit. So you can wash these in the wash machine. I washed mine in the wash machine and I just let it air dry. But yeah, I just wanted to add that in there. All right, guys, that's the end of this video and review. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.